CBS Sports presents AT&T at the half. AT&T, giving you more for your college basketball thing. At the half between UConn and Houston, I'm Brent Stover. Growing up, UConn senior forward Nafisa Collier always heard stories about her grandfather, a UN ambassador and key contributor in Sierra Leone's history. It was a legacy that helped her grow into a leader on and off the court. My name is Nafisa Collier, and this is my story. My grandfather was the first permanent representative of Sierra Leone to the United Nations. He helped Sierra Leone negotiate independence from Britain in 1961. Right now, probably the most brutal conflict in the world is the civil war in Sierra Leone. A civil war in 1991 moved my father to the U.S., settling in Missouri and starting a family. He was really, you know, in the White House talking to a president. It's something that you don't think about every day, but when you take a minute to really grasp the magnitude, it's something that's really amazing. When you picture the powerful people in history, my grandfather is one of them, and I'm directly related to him, so it's pretty powerful. My dad's role in Sierra Leone always made me very proud. It was something we were always aware of. Um, getting independence in Sierra Leone is something that we focus on all the time. And him being one of the three signatories to Document of Independence was always cool and something to you know, be proud of. We joke around that Fee is a princess of Sierra Leone, and I never actually knew what her um, grandfather did. I just knew it was something important. And you know, finding all this out, it's, it's really cool to know and um, kind of see it all make sense now. She's trying to do a small version of that with our team and with what we're trying to accomplish this year. I do see a lot of my dad in Nafisa and the way she comports herself, the way she plays. You know, she has that quiet determination. She walks quietly with a big stick. And it's fun to see, you know, the way she dominates her sport, but in a quiet and efficient manner. Her sophomore year, I thought, was the time when she was probably a leader. I don't think Fisa got up in the morning and went, you know what, this year I'm going to become a leader. I don't think it's anything that she decided. I just think it's a role that she took on because she felt like, I can. Nafisa is a very quiet leader. She really leads by example. She lets her actions speak for her leadership. This year, um, Gino has really kind of asked her to step out of that comfort zone and to be more vocal. It's hard to get her to say much, and yet she has the respect of her teammates and the coaching staff, which to me is more important. A lot of people ask me how I feel about Nafisa playing basketball. And I think it's more of a change for other people. This is something we've always done. The first conversation I had with Kamal, you know, Fisa's dad, he wasn't caught up in the basketball part of it, like unfortunately so many parents are. I think he was looking more at, I want Nafisa to grow from a high school girl to a woman ready to enter the world. As a senior, I try to lead by example, and I try to be the person that you know, you can come to if you're struggling and help you when I see you struggling. Hopefully it would make me a good leader. Basketball has just been one of the many things Nafisa's been interested in growing up. So that saying, ball is life, I'm not sure Nafisa would, would say the same. She carries herself as if there's something beyond basketball in her life. And whether that's genetic, you know, handed down from her grandfather, whether it's her father directly, that's a reflection of her heritage. Now, Nafisa has never been to Sierra Leone, but she hopes to make her first trip with her father to his home country in December. More from UConn and Houston coming up after the break.